Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create GitHub Notion integration using NAN, a source available workflow automation tool. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a seamless workflow that automatically syncs GitHub issues with Notion database pages. Whenever a new issue is opened in your GitHub repository, it will show up in your Notion database. Existing issues are synchronized. The title is updated. The status changes automatically whenever an issue is closed, reopened, or deleted. Each published NAN template can be copy-pasted directly into the editor. You will find a link to the template for this tutorial in the description below the video. You can pause the video and come back to it when you're ready to continue. Before we begin, please make sure you have the following. A GitHub account with an OAuth app or an access token. A Notion account with an API key. Finally, a Notion database with four columns. So let's get started. First, open NAN in your web browser and add a new workflow. In this tutorial, we will create a GitHub Notion integration from scratch. Select the GitHub trigger from the list. This will be the first workflow node. In the new window, provide your GitHub credentials. If you are using this node for the first time, click on the docs link. In the new window, click the credentials link again and follow the instructions. After that, Provide the repository details, owner, and repository fields. Make sure you select Issues as the event to trigger the workflow. Close the configuration window and click the Save button. Pick the IF node. Add a new string condition. In the Value1 field select Expression and provide the following snippet. This JSON object indicates if the new GitHub issue was created or an existing one was modified. Now, type opened in the value2 field. Whenever the workflow is activated by GitHub trigger, the if node will route an incoming message into the true or false branch. Let's configure the true branch coming from an if node. Select a Notion node that creates a new database page and enter your Notion credentials. A separate database was created for this tutorial. Your workflow will have a different database ID. You can also provide a Notion database URL if this is more convenient for you. Please take the time to create a new Notion page with a database, configure the database columns, copy the new database URL and return to the tutorial. Now we need to provide a title and ID number of the new GitHub issue. Click on the Add Property button. Select the first column name from the drop-down list. Drag and drop a JSON key into the empty field under the issue ID. Repeat the process for the URL column. Click on Add Property once again. Select the column, click on the JSON key, drag the element into an empty field, and release the mouse button. Close the configuration window, save the workflow, and click on the Execute button. Now let's try adding a new GitHub issue. Great, your GitHub Notion integration adds a new issue. Let's now work on a second branch of the workflow. We need to ensure that existing GitHub issues are properly synchronized. Add the code node to the canvas and connect it to the false branch of the if node. Copy the JavaScript code into the editor. You can take this code from the workflow template linked in the description below the video. This code creates a dynamic Notion filter based on the existing GitHub issue ID. Close the config window and save the workflow. Now, let's apply this filter and select the existing GitHub issue in the Notion database. Add a new Notion node. Select database page resource and a get many operation. Specify the database IDs or URL and create a JSON filter. This is a dynamic filter that returns an ID of the existing GitHub issue. Now your workflow correctly selects an existing issue from the Notion database. Before we proceed to the next step, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications for all future videos. We regularly release new content, so stay tuned. Once we've selected an existing GitHub issue, we need to split the flow again for each action. Add the switch node to the canvas and configure it to handle different issue actions. Edited, deleted, closed, and reopened. From now on, we will speed up a little. Connect each output of the switch node to the corresponding Notion nodes for editing, archiving, closing, or reopening issues. Each node is already pre-configured in the workflow template. You only need to provide your Notion credentials and a valid database URL. Check out links in the description below.
Once you are done, click on the Save button. Activate the workflow by toggling the switch in the upper right corner of the editor. We can add a new issue. Type the issue title, fill in some details, and hit the Submit button. After a few seconds, you will see a new row in the Notion database. Now let's rename the issue. No new row was created in the Notion database, but the title of the existing issue was changed. We can also try to close the issue. You can see that the Notion checklist field has changed. Finally, let's delete an issue. Navigate to the issue, scroll down and click on the Delete button. Congratulations! You've successfully created a workflow that integrates Notion and GitHub using NAN. Whenever an issue is opened, edited, closed, or reopened on your GitHub repository, the corresponding changes will be automatically reflected in your Notion database pages. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video. Also, let us know about other integrations you would like to see on this channel. That's only one workflow example, but you can build so much more use cases for GitHub Notion integration. NAN is absolutely a great tool for complex workflows, so don't forget to check out the links in the description below. See you next time.